Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do your be aware. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. Now Virgos... I do always say that the be aware doesn't necessarily have to be something bad. It could just be something that maybe you need to pay a little bit more closer attention to. This could be a person, place or thing, okay? So Spirit, what is the energy here for the collective? Is there anything that they need to be aware of at this time? For a sign of Virgo. Sun, moon, rising or north node, Venus. Is there anything that they need to be aware of? Show me. All right, one more shuffle. All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. So we have message of concern turning over and I am seeing the courthouse card. Now I don't know why I'm getting this energy Virgos. For some of you, you may be receiving some sort of news about maybe something to do with a home. This could be somehow connected to a death. Um, so give me a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. The journey card, which is a number 10. Now, the tens do talk about the endings of some sort of cycle um, or something very much reaching the end of the road here. Now, the message of concern card it is a number 14, which boils down to a five. And the fives do talk about change. So show me more. Oh, courtship in the reverse. My Virgos need to be aware of spirit. Why is the courtship in the reverse with the lovers? Privileged lady. Oh, main male in the reverse. I feel like what spirit is trying to show me here, Virgos, is that some of my Virgos, you're going to need to be careful about what kind of offers come towards you when it comes to love. And I feel like this is especially, um, I mean, you know, I feel like this is especially if this is people from your past here. OK, you know, remember that we are going through two Mercury retrogrades um, and a Venus retrograde here. OK, it just feels like you may be doing well here. I don't know if someone here needs help with some sort of finances with the unexpected income and the concern here. OK. Now, someone here may be seeing that you are working very hard at something and maybe even something is going in your favor. Some of Virgos, you could just be financially stable here with the privileged lady, right? Yeah, toil and labor. And then we have the thief card, pathway, marriage, main female and thoughts. It's almost like somebody has some sort of bright idea that um to get themselves out of a pickle or to get themselves out of a sticky situation. It would be good to come towards you and make you a fake love offer here just so that they can maybe get into your good graces or get you to help them out with something here because somebody sees something turning in your favor. This could even be someone who just needs somewhere to live, right? They're looking for some sort of stability. Hmm, okay. Courtship in the reverse, main male in the reverse. I just feel like for some of my Virgos, this offer isn't genuine. There's an underlying motive. So give me some cards for my Virgos. Well, they need to be aware of at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo, what's the energy here? 
Yeah, okay, so the first card coming out here is the three fates, and it says what comes around, and um, what goes around comes around, right? So it's that energy of, I feel like whoever this is, they may be going through some sort of karma here. Um, it's almost that energy of the shoes on the other foot, right? Show me more. What my Virgos need to be aware of? You have the signs are already with you, so that's good, Virgos. Pay attention to your intuition here. You know, pay attention to that gut feeling we do have and transitions to the spirit realm. And I feel like that's saying to me that for some of my Virgos, you know, we've been saying this, that especially like how we've had this super moon, some of you, your gifts are going to be heightened at this time. Some of you, you're going to be getting warnings before things even happen. So that energy of kind of like premonition, right? Show me more. What else do my Virgos need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. You have the past returns for a time. <laughs> yeah, so it's that energy of somebody very much kind of popping back up. But maybe their intentions is not to stick around. Like I said, I feel like for some of you, this person has some sort of underlying motives here. Show me more. Give me three more cards. What my Virgos need to be aware of? You have invasion of boundaries, violated and dominancy. Someone here is trying to control a situation or they're trying to control the outcome of something here. And then you have glamour, intrigue and drama. One more. And then you have magical space clearing time. Okay. Holding on way too tight. So what is this for my Virgos? Message of concern. Where's this energy for my Virgos? What I need to be aware of. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the message of concern here? Five of Swords. The Five of Swords and the energy of somebody feeling defeated. You could be dealing with an air sign in Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be. Well, the Five of Swords is that energy, especially with what comes around, right? What goes around comes around. There will, there, this, this is someone who betrayed you in the past somehow, some way. This could be via lies, gossip. Um, but this would be the energy of somebody who very much... When they thought they were getting away with something here, they would have thought it was fun and games at the time. But like I said, it's that energy of it's no fun when the rabbit has the gun. The Five of Swords is an energy of defeat, surrender. It talks about walking away. It talks about self-sacrifice, self-sabotage behavior. So you see that energy of this is someone who had no problems stabbing you in the back. But all of a sudden now something has happened and the universe has put them in a position where they may need your help now. But spirit says because of whatever invasion of your boundaries that this person did, that help is no longer available to them. Show me more. This could be someone who maybe bullied you in the past. This could be someone who maybe tried to make you feel a little bit intimidated by them. Or like I said, there was something here where maybe there was gossip and lies involved. An energy of manipulation. This could have been someone, I don't know why I'm getting this vision of maybe this is someone who maybe caused you some sort of heartache or pain. I'm even seeing tears here, Virgos. But this would be someone who would kind of laugh in your face at you being down. And now this is someone who finds themselves in a down position. But there's no hand to help them up. What is the Five of Swords? Why is that energy here for my Virgos? What they need to be aware of. Thank you, Spirit. Five of Swords.
You have the hermit energy. Mm. So this could be you, Virgos. Okay. Just because it's a hermit doesn't mean it is you. You could be dealing with another Virgo. Or well, this could be someone who is very much having to reflect on some of the choices that they made. This is someone who is maybe being forced to do some sort of soul searching. Right? It's that energy of reflecting. And that is what the moon is about. <laughs> Show me more. Maybe some of you are going to be in this position where you kind of don't know whether you should help this person or not. Right? Oh. Five of Pentacles wanted to fly out there <laughs> in the reverse. Five of Pentacles in the upright talks about someone who may be struggling financially. It can talk about somebody feeling left out in the cold. It can talk about somebody having some sort of negative... Um, change in their financial situation here but in the reverse this is saying to me that someone's finances is improving here virgos we saw that privileged lady it talks about some of my virgos you've actually reached a point where it's the end of hardship for you it talks about a positive change so is this why this person's looking back at you and saying damn maybe i should have treated the virgo better it gives me this energy here, Virgos, where if some of you are in a better financial space here, this is something that this person would have never saw coming for you, which is maybe why they treated you the way they did. But you see, spirits bringing me back to that energy of sometimes that's why the universe hides the diamonds in the rough, right? So that not everybody can see it's a diamond at first. It's almost like a test, a test of commitment, a test of to see how this person is going to treat you, being them, their authentic self. And for some of you, this person did you dirty. So the spirit says, oh, now that they see that you're a diamond, now that the spirit has removed some of the dirt, now they can see something shining through. Now they want to come back over there. And spirit says, no. You already sabotaged this situation. Now your punishment for some of them is to actually sit back and watch the Virgo do very well and them not be a part of it. Seven of Wands, protection. Show me more. What is this message of concern? Two of Swords. <laughs> there is a blockage. Some of you, we have the Five of Swords with the Two of Swords. That makes the Seven of Swords. And I've already said the Seven of Swords is about a liar, a cheater, a thief. Someone who does things underhandedly. It's that energy of someone who will smile in your face, pretend to be a friend, pretend that their intentions are good. But it's not. So is this the be aware for you, Virgos? This is someone who is at some sort of a crossroads. This is someone who has some sort of stress and anxiety around them. Clarify. Because I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like for some of Virgos there's been some sort of change or transformation in your life. Or that is what is coming towards you here. Some of Virgos, you're going to be able to celebrate here with this Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles talks about new beginnings. Financially, yes. It talks about opportunities being presented to you. This is gifts from the universe. Clarify the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. That really wanted to jump out the temperance. Balance is restored. So for some of you, it looks like this message of concern may be for the other person. To see that you're still standing. To see that you're still balanced. That you still have peace and harmony in your heart, in your life. But also to know that you're very much protected here with the temperance. Because I can very much take that as an angel. 
I am hearing Gabriel. What is the temperance energy? My Virgos need to be aware of at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. You see, for some other girls, it makes me feel like you planted good seeds. And I feel like those seeds are coming to fruition for you now. So this could even be like an energy where maybe you told someone that, hey, listen, you know, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And maybe they laughed at you and said, yeah, that ain't going to go nowhere. Are the Virgos delusional? The Virgos living in a fantasy world. But now someone here may be seeing that, actually, hold on a minute. I see what the Virgo was saying. Something's actually happening for them. For some of you, this has something to do with maybe an inheritance. Like the energy I was picking up earlier, maybe something to do with a house and a death. What is the Hermit and the Two of Swords? Someone here sees my Virgos getting some sort of rewards. Sees you, it's almost like that Six of Pentacles energy where there's profit coming in. Look at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Building a legacy for yourself. But again, the Ten of Pentacles can talk about, you know, a lump sum of money. Talks about wills, deeds, trust funds. Or even something as big as a property. The Hermit and the Two of Swords. Now for some of Virgos, there may be something here that you don't see. Six of Wands. Mm. And the Tower. I, I feel like someone here is, I don't know if they're heartbroken here, Virgos. Or they're just in some sort of sadness here. Or even depression. Because I feel like you may be surprising someone with some sort of victory that you are having. Some sort of success. The Six of Wands talks about winning. It talks about you having well wishes. It talks about, like I said, you um, achieving something here because you made good decisions. You made good investments here. This talks about people cheering you on here, Virgos. For some of you, it can talk about fame. Someone here may be on their way to celebrity status or just public recognition. But this is crowds. This is people giving you praise. And you having this success somehow, some way may cause some sort of chaos for someone else. You know, the tower is Aries and Scorpio energy. We also have Sagittarius out here, Virgo energy. Well, the tower can talk about destruction. It talks about sudden upheaval, trauma, unexpected changes. Someone here may be confused about how you have gained some sort of success. How did you get to that status? It looks to me because you put the hard work in here. Why is this tower here? Clarify this tower. Someone here could be facing, like I said, some huge um, losses. And maybe you are gaining it. What is a tower? Five of Wands. Conflict, drama, chaos. With maybe a group of people. This could be family members. This could be a group of friends. Well, this is arguments. This is tempers rising. Why is the five of wands here? Why is this conflict energy here? Now we have 555 five, five out here. So let me just Google real quick what that is. Five, 
555 change <laughs> okay and i did say that the message of concern card is a number 40 which boils down to a five so i don't know if, if you took some sort of leap of faith here virgos to go in a new direction to do something alone is also what i'm hearing here with the full card the full card can very much represent an energy of freedom travel adventure very much not caring it's a very i'm hearing the word nonchalant very much not caring about other people it gives me that energy of my virgos not looking left not looking right but very much focused on the road ahead and i feel like some people are upset by this especially if these are people that you have left out in the cold people that you have blocked off Also, the 555 number is very much a confirmation that the ancestors and the angels are very much walking alongside you on this journey. Very much supporting you in this change. Okay. What is this journey card? What do my Virgos need to be aware of? I mean, so far, Virgos, it seems like what you need to be aware of is that you are on the right road. <laughs> Ace of Swords truth truth and clarity this talks about new ideas new plans it also talks about an energy of victory here virgos success some of you that energy of mental clarity being able to think and see and speak clearly speak up for yourselves speak up for what you believe in it's also an energy of Something maybe being over for some of Virgos because you have received some sort of truth in that situation or about a person. Show me more. For some of you, this could have something to do with a child. That's not going to resonate for everyone. The sun card can also just talk about illumination here. Or it talks about some of Virgos moving forward. You're very much going to feel very much happy here. Look at that, the star card. Healing, hope, you having faith in your dreams, in your destiny. This talks about rejuvenation as well. It also talks about, you know, some of my Virgos, like I said, maybe some of you are speakers. I don't know what you do here with the Ace of Swords and the Star card. But this talks about you very much following your creativity here. It's also an energy of feeling calm and content. So some of you are just happy in your own skin. Even on the Star card, if you look at the lady on there, she's absolutely butt naked. Which gives me that energy of almost like, um, it makes me think of like a baby when they're born. When you think about when a baby is born, you know, all babies to me are innocent when they're born. It's that energy of exposure. Not feeling you have to hide anything. It's that energy of being very transparent. I'm also hearing, hey, Virgos, you're not going to be for everybody. But it's that energy of Take it or leave it. Show me more. So it makes me feel like Virgos, that for some of my Virgos, you're no, looking, you're no longer looking for um, validation. Thank you, Spirit. From other people. Like I said, it's that energy like Marmite. You either love me or you hate me, right? <laughs> and Virgo says, hey, if you hate me, so be it. But it's that energy where it's, you know, it's no skin off my nose. Water off a duck's back. Resilience. So some of my Virgos, you're showing strength here. Show me more. Coming out sideways. There's a blockage. Two of pentacles. 
So for some of my Virgos, there may have been someone here or a group of people that maybe wanted to cause some sort of instability here for you. With the two of pentacles. This could be, like I said, or this is the energy of this person where there's this tower moment and this five of wands energy because you have this person blocked out. And like I said, this may be someone who is struggling somehow. Maybe their life is in an imbalance energy. This could also be someone who may be thinking, damn, you know what? They made the wrong choice here. Two of Pentacles can talk about making a choice. So some of you, especially with the signs that are already with you here, you already know that this is someone, but some of you know that this is someone that is already going through some sort of difficulty, which is maybe even more reason why you are keeping your distance. There's some sort of truth coming out for some of my Virgos about some sort of transferring of money. This could be somebody maybe tried to transfer some sort of money overseas or to an overseas account or something like that. But I'm hearing something about a paper trail. So there will be some sort of evidence of this. Hmm. Show me more. My Virgos. You have the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups talks about walking away, abandoning a situation that no longer serves you here or a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. Especially with it coming out with the journey and the number 10. This also talks about somebody reaching their limit. Now I'm hearing something about maybe someone here that has spent some sort of time alone here. Maybe to kind of have some sort of self-discovery or again with the hermit energy, you know, self-introspection here. Looking deeper into something and being disappointed with that situation. Or with a person. Oh, could be an emperor energy here. Aries or Taurus. Strong Aries energy. Oh, Knight of Wands. Heavy fire. Heavy Aries. There may be an Aries here that wants your forgiveness. They may want reconciliation with the judgment or this is someone who is going through some sort of harsh judgments here. Four of Cups, though, it's a missed opportunity. For some of my Virgos, look at that with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, for some of you, you can pick up this person's energy. And because of what it is that you pick up about them or what it is that you see or whatever downloads you're getting them about this person, you're like, nah, <laughs> Queen of Swords, I'm good. Queen of Swords is someone, like I said, who is truthful, who is honest, who brings clarity, but she's also not afraid. To cut people, places and things out of her life that no longer serve her. Eight of Cups. Why would I go back to a situation when I've already healed or moved on from it? Why would I go back to a situation that wasn't fulfilling me? For some of you, there's something here about maybe religion or this person being married. Scorpio energy showing there. What is the Ace of Swords and the Two of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. What my Virgos need to be aware of. The initials R could be significant. Roger has just pulled up. <laughs> um, Roger, you're going to have to wait, I'm afraid. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I don't know. And it's almost that energy I always say. Anytime Roger pulls up, it makes me think of the, the cartoon or the children's program. And the bit when they say, you know, go home, Roger. So is this someone who has some sort of family or something somewhere else? It's almost that energy of, hey, listen, you made your bed, go lie in it. But your bed isn't over here. Coming out sideways, nine of cups. You see, I don't know what this person did in the past, okay? 
Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups talks about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. It talks about happiness, you being cheerful, you feeling fulfilled in that energy of positivity. Unwise choice, right? Yeah, Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Somebody now wanting to come in and make you some sort of offer here. A romantic proposal. Ooh, with the Three of Swords, though. And the King of Wands. I'm telling you, this is someone who is heartbroken. Watching you from a distance. But I keep picking up Four of Wands energy around this person. There is something. <laughs> Look, as I part the deck, I keep picking up Four of Wands energy. It's either this person, there is something about home, or this person is or was attached to another situation here. Were they playing happy families somewhere else? I'm hearing Mariah Carey. Is it Sweet Dreams? I'm hearing the bit where I think she says, Sweet lover, come rescue me. So they want rescuing? <laughs> what is the Nine of Cups? What is the Nine of Cups? Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, the Empress. Now you wish fulfillment. Now for some of you, they don't even know how or what they would say. How do I even begin to tell the Virgo this truth? Let's double check what the Empress is. Why is the Empress energy here? Now the Empress can very much represent a mother figure. Maybe you have children with this person. The Eight of Wands. Hmm. The first thing I heard is this person is looking at how quickly you've grown here, Virgos. But the Eight of Wands is that energy of something happening at great speed. It can represent backwards and forwards communication here. So they want to come towards you. Is there someone who wants to take some sort of action all of a sudden? What is a star in the Eight of Cups? The Emperor. So we have the Empress and the Emperor out here. What is the Emperor? Aries and Taurus energy. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Is this somebody new, Virgo? Is this new love? Is this spirit saying, hey, listen, don't you look back to the past because what you're looking for is that way. <laughs> or this is, like I said, either an Aries, Taurus, a boss energy. This could be your divine counterpart, Virgos, with the Empress and Emperor out here. I feel like that would only resonate with those of you if this person has gone through some sort of transformation. And for some of you, Spirit is saying, the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from the past because you desire more and you have identified that. For some of you, you're ready to move on because you have healed from something. Eight of Cups with the Ace of Cups, that makes the Nine of Cups. Empress, your wishes that way. This can talk about pregnancy, fertility. What is the Emperor and the Ace of Cups? Because this is your be aware. <laughs> what is the Emperor and the Ace of Cups? And we have been saying about a false offer here. So, show me spirit. Why is the Emperor and the Ace of Cups here? Six of Pentacles. <laughs> because somebody needs a handout. Uh, what is the Six of Pentacles? What is the Six of Pentacles? Ooh, Ace of Wands and the Chariot. Yeah, they want to come in. Now, for some of you, it could be telling me that they want to give it equal give and take. Ace of Wands, Chariot. Show me more. What is the Six of Pentacles? The Three of Wands. And the Three of Cups. One more. And the Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups. See, for some of you, it's really that energy where they feel like, you know, they may have made some wrong choices in the past. 
This is someone that's going to maybe come and tell you, hey, listen, I was confused in the past here, right? This is someone who had a lot of options here. They could have even gone back to somebody from their past here. For some of you, this is, looks like a soulmate connection. But they see you celebrating something. They see you getting some sort of, um, like I said, maybe you... Your finances have improved. This could be via or your work, right? Six of Pentacles can talk about, you know, clientele to me as well. Show me more. I want to come and make you an offer here, Virgos. The Emperor and the Ace of Cups. Four of Wands. Landed on that Five of Wands, though. Show me more about this Four of Wands. Queen of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, for some of you, this person is attached to someone else here. That situation may not be going so well. They want to apologize with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. But you have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. This person is in some sort of a mental prison about how to communicate something to you. I feel like honesty is the best policy, right? Spirit, give me some cards for the situations. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? I really feel like the energy here at Virgos is that, I mean, it's free will at the end of the day, okay? But me as a reader, I have to be fair. Do I feel like it may be took for this person to run into a tower moment to really see maybe what it is that you was offering to them. And I feel like the energy is genuine, right? You was being your authentic self here. And this is someone who chose to stab you in your back one way or the other. Whether that was choosing somebody over you, whether that, like I said, was some sort of action or gossip, lies, whatever thief right it took for spirit to put them through that energy for them to see who you really are male or female should you forgive them I, I believe so you can do that from a distance do you have to let them back into your life absolutely not But if you wanted to, I feel like for some of you, there is the opportunity for that. Give me some cards. But what do you have to say about this person? <laughs> so it says you are the best thing to ever happen to you. It says go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drinks. So this may be someone who may be indulging quite a bit here, right? We saw the Seven of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Nine of Cups. This may be someone who drinks. You have shit is going down with your job. It says reevaluate, change your perspective or fucking quit. So again, that energy of maybe someone here has lost their job, but definitely that energy of somebody struggling financially here. I'm hearing this person has lost their footing. So we have eat your fucking vegetables. It says eat some. Sh it says yeah, eat some shit made by Mother Nature. So that makes me think of somebody needing some sort of a detox. Now I could even take that, like I just said, you know, as the card was flipping out, I felt like someone here has lost their footing. It's maybe somebody that just needs to be, you know, they need to ground themselves again. I also feel like this may be someone who is very much um, easily tempted by material things. I almost want to cause, call them an opportunist. Um, right? They go where they feel like the opportunity is better. But that's not building something on solid foundation. Show me more. My Virgos need to be aware of. 
you have eat some good shit it says oh it says eat some good shit i don't know it says some good shit is about to happen it says don't let your issues fuck it up you have stop sleeping so damn much it says wake up you're missing some cool shit so is this someone who's lazy as well or i don't know this it's giving me more the vibes of when you know when you drink too much especially if you drink during the day and then you kind of fall asleep and then you know you wake up and then they may start drinking again and then they fall asleep it, it, that's not really the energy of living it's more like the energy of existing show me more you have take a fucking trip. It says go see some shit, do some new things. It says talk to people cooler than you. So I feel like this person wants to talk to you here. I don't know if they just feel like... um. I just feel like, you know, it's giving me the energy of... You know when you have so much negative things going on around you? Like I said earlier, it's almost like they revert back to what was the positive thing in their life. Maybe you was very much a good support network for this person at some point. Or like I said, you show them genuine love or genuine care. And for some of you, they took that and they threw it in your face. And now they want that energy back. Spirit says, well, unfortunately, you know, it's not available. Yeah, I see winning there. Well, you know, it says winning, but it says you got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. And I feel like they already have. So, thank you. You have laugh. It says, where the fuck is your sense of humor? It makes me feel like this person is in the energy of despair. Look at that. At the top of the deck, you have fucking apologize. It says, seriously, just do it. Because I feel like for some of Virgos, yes, especially with the six of wands out here in the tower, it says you are fucking talented and amazing. It says the world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. But I do feel like this person is seeing that you are talented at something or they just feel like you're amazing at something here. So it's almost that energy of like a secret admirer. Some of you, this person is stalking you on social media. There's that lightning bolt, right? So whatever they're seeing here, it's either it's breaking their heart or they're regretting that they broke yours. And someone who may be vibrating from an ego, again, we have with the alcohol energy, obsession. This may be someone who needs some sort of professional help. So this could even be saying that, you know, maybe this emperor, there is something that they need to walk away from here. Maybe they need healing here. And maybe they need to pour into themselves with the Ace of Cups. Maybe this is someone who struggles with self-love. So give me two cards to end this reading for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. I think what this person needs to realize is that whatever it is that they're looking at you for Virgos I feel like for some of them there's a journey that they need to go on on their own and for some of you maybe they've already gone on that journey and they kind of want to come and present themselves and say hey listen Virgos I'm a better person now oh, no. give me some cards let me end this reading. Thank you, Spirit. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? One more card. Thank you. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we do have Teresa. And it says, time out. It says, you've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs. But now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Yeah. Okay. Positive energy here. For my Virgos anyway. <laughs> so you have Vanessa. 
It says to make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it. So again, for some of my Virgos, when you get this communication, be very careful about the decision that you make, especially if life has improved for you. you got a lot of positive cards out here, Virgo. Some of you are very lucky to have the gift of insight. You have Shanti. And it says, I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Yeah. And then you have Ariel. It says new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer and meditation. See, I feel like, especially with that hermit, some of you, this may have even been someone who tried to block your third eye. Who tried to make you doubt your intuition here. Maybe because they knew it was going to bring you success. You know, I, it's also giving me the energy here for some of you, you know. This is somebody who didn't want you to believe in the seeds that you were planting. They didn't want you to find balance. So it's almost that energy of spirit saying, uh, you know, they don't understand why this person is now crying over spilt milk. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So spirit says, hold this energy, hold this L. <laughs> no. Virgos, that is the be aware that I have. Guys, if anything in this reading did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.